Hi. It says I'm live on my hashtag. Wow, okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. That would be a good start to the show. <laughs> Wait. I'm not going to sneeze. Okay, that was close. What do I look like? Trash as usual. Okay. This works. I was really... Can, can, can anyone see... Can anyone see some text? Wait, let me get my pale face over it. This says, type error. 1009 error hashtag 1009. Does anyone else see that or is that just on my face? Lol website. Hey, let's tweet this now that it's working. Seven minutes! Bloody hell, you now get some servers. You know I love you. Okay. <laughs> oh my. Hi everyone. Hello. Let's see if I just tweeted the right link. I couldn't log in for like five minutes. Did you? It says there's no one watching. Oh god, how embarrassing. My pop I'm declining, guys. I'm <laughs> I've lost my audience. No one's watching according to this. Okay, uh, here we go. Che Allen is the number one fan, people. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I have no idea what tabs I've opened. Hi, everybody. 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 Wow, that was so much less dramatic than you. There's shit all over my floor. What is going on in that background? My shoes. My shoes are they're, they're leaking in a line. I've got, got this peeking into shot. That can no. Okay, that didn't that didn't work. Just just hide. Those are my broken jeans. Hello everybody. Still haven't done the bulky waste disposal to get rid of my old bed frame, so that's just in the background of this looking disgusting. Sniff. So <laughs> I pro I'm, I'm going to try really hard not to sniff too much, because that is gross. There is nothing more gross than hearing other people sniff. Um, yes, I'm sick. Uh, probably shouldn't be doing this, but I was like, I need, I need to, otherwise they'll think that I'm dead. So <laughs> There we go, I'm here, and this is, I bet this is going to be riveting. Becky said, how's the cold? Get well soon. It's good. I think, I think I'm on the... I think I'm on the up. I think I'm on the up. It's been eventful. Okay, so, um, yeah, here's my, uh, I sniffed. I'm so sorry. God, block and report me for sniffing. It's not good. Uh, <laughs> I've got the tissue and we'll leave it there. So, Dan, why are you sick? Good, good question. Uh, I think it's from Norwich last weekend. I think it's from the music festival because I was like a week. That's a, that's a pretty long gestation period for the common cold, but there was the first night that we were at the music festival after we watched Muse. I did, did I mention this last Tuesday? But they blocked off all of the roads in the city so that the people that went to the uh, festival could go home. But that meant that there was no way to leave other than walking back. So because all the BBC were going back to like a hotel, they were like, you need to get the BBC bus. And I was like, okay, when's that? An hour and a half. Oh, so we had to wait outside in the freezing rain for an hour and a half, and I'm questioning what made me ill. I think it's, I think it was probably mingling with thousands of people in the field, and then, uh, <laughs> getting, getting rained on and cold, so yeah, that's fun. Sorry, it was gross. Um, so when did I tweet about not being able to, um, not being able to, uh, taste... That was that was traumatizing. That was that was the precursor. That was an omen. I woke up and I was like, "This is strange. This cereal's a bit muted today. Had lunch. Nothing. It's bad, people. Tasting. I mean, food is probably the thing I enjoy the most in the entire world. If you can't see me, just refresh <laughs> and hopefully it'll work. That worked for me. Try it in a different browser. Um, yeah." I couldn't taste, which is literally the worst thing in the whole world for me, not being able to taste. Uh, just enough, literally nothing to live for. Like, I realise when I can't taste that it's like, uh, w w what am I looking forward to? All I, all I look forward to is dinner and what I'm going to make out of my collection for Christmas. I mean, for... That's my brain being fried by the other <laughs> fucking Christmas when I said breakfast. Yeah, close one, Dan. Uh, 
And alas, so, God, it's depressing. It's bad. It's bad, guys. Hi, said Kyra. Hello. Say hi to Kai. I'm seeing you in Glasgow. Hi, Kai. See you in Glasgow. That should be fun. What's on your door? Is it pants? No. That's a coat. Did you hear about a Sonic movie coming out in 2016? What? No. How are you feeling, said Heather. I'm feeling like yesterday I was dead. Dead. It was like it, st it started with, Wow, I'm like totally fine, but I can't taste. This is annoying. I'm congested. Woke up the next morning. <laughs> just, just like literally. I was just like on my bed for like four hours. Uh, I watched uh, Fellowship of the Ring extended edition because I was just like... <laughs> It was, it was, it was truly, truly miserable, uh, I mean, it's like I can live today, but I'm just, I'm still like, like a big plague beast. So, um, when Stan is not on fire, I texted, I haven't got a response, so I'll just presume this is a yes, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as you guys may know, uh, Connor Franta visited Phil and I, he came to the, the Dan and Phil flat last week while he was, uh, on his book tour, and we we may we may have filmed some things together separately, all things like that. Um, and I asked him, I was like, "Ooh, I'm sick. Can can we just upload this?" And he was like, um, "I was gonna upload it in like two weeks because I made some other things." And I was like, <laughs> "Please." And then Connor said, "Okay, yeah, we can do it this week." So uh, if you are looking forward to some more Dennis on Fire. Just print out a picture of Connor Franta, staple it to your wall, and light a candle, and go, thank you, Connor, for allowing us to uh, upload our collabs this week. So I think it's probably going to be some time in a, in, a, in a couple days. I don't want to say the day, because I have to... This, this is a conversation that uh, has to be had with Connor. But don't worry, Connor the Holy Spirit said Besk in the chat. Yeah, Connor the Holy Spirit came down and said... It does not matter that Dan is ill. A video was made, and we will grant him the right to upload it. <laughs> so, there we go. Come to Brazil, said so Save Me Nile, with the three. That's good. Who got to keep the Japan cat flushy? Uh, I think it's I think it's just in our hallway at the moment. Ba, ba, ba. Haru-chan, said Jovita. I don't know what you're referring to. Um, when does the tour begin? It begins in October. Excited. Oof. We're gonna we're gonna be doing lots of rehearsals for that. <laughs> Dan, I'm gonna see you in Belfast. You're going to Belfast, are you? Hey, thank you. Are you glad that we didn't we didn't forget Northern Ireland? <laughs> and to see us. Is Phil Hoovering? No, that's a car outside my house. For everyone wondering what the hell that noise is. Was that was that really loud? I'm sorry. I turned twenty in October, said somebody. Wow! It's my birthday next week. I'm really looking forward to that. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, did you see Gambino quit music? Did he? I thought he did an AMA on Twitter and he was talking about how new is this? <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, what else? I haven't gotten into Gambino. Should I? Should I? I've heard a lot of people that don't like him. Or just aren't, don't buy his character. That was it, the shiny video. I watched the shiny video. It was, it was interesting. It was really housey. It sounded like something that, like, a UK pop act would make. It's cool. No, he's gross. He's great. Coolio. You sound so ill. Thank you, Brent Nui. <laughs> check, check the top fans. Okay, what, <laughs> what's happening? Okay, uh, number five is Thelf with the laser cat picture. Number four is Oriella. Number three is Sally Moore. Number two is Evie Flesher, and number one is Shay Allen. And the question that we're all asking ourselves today is, what has happened to Anahita? Okay, uh, you made me step on my hat, said, I, oh, I just wiped my hand on my nose. No, I've got tissues. There's no need for me to be like that. I'm a disgusting person at this exact moment. Hello, said Polina. <laughs> Hello. Your jeans are on your lap. Yes, they are, Connor. Uh, Connor? Is that, is, is that you, Connor? No. <laughs> yeah, I've got them here. This is a tragedy. My favourite pair of jeans that I wear pretty much every day. If you haven't seen, I, I tweeted a picture of this carnage on Twitter earlier. Hashtag spawn for my own Twitter profile there. Um, seamless promo. 
Uh, yeah. This couldn't have happened in one day. How long have I been walking around with this rip in my jeans? I have no idea, but look at that. Look at that. Jesus. That's, that's, that's quite severe. Look at that. That's really quite... <laughs> that's like the whole midsection. It's quite surprising that my jeans just didn't just fall apart either side of me. How did it get ripped? I have no idea. I didn't notice. I didn't, I didn't notice. It was like, how did you take the picture? It was... I took the picture like this, I was like... <laughs> to take the picture. Not even joking. I'm a talented person. I could fix them. I know these <laughs> really. <laughs> That's. Uh, you'll be pleased to know that I have ordered my third pair of this e exact identical pair of jeans. Um, and I've got next day delivery because I can't go outside without them. So uh, I should really stock up on them in case they stop making them. That would be bad, wouldn't it? And it just rained a 20. Who wants to look at some British money? Oh, yeah. Can you, can you see the, can you see the queen through the light? I don't know if I hold it close enough to the, I don't know, can you, can you see, okay, what can I do here? Cool thing about British money that all the British people in the chat don't care about is that you can see the queen when you shine a light through it. Do you see that? Look at that. Look, it's an invisible picture of the queen. Where did it go? Who knows? Whoa, she's everywhere. Uh, yeah, so Australian money is that kind of plastic one, and it's kind of moisture proof, so if you wash it, sometimes it's okay. But it's not heat proof, so it can melt sometimes. Whereas English money is paper, which means that it's, it's heat proof, but then it can get destroyed by moisture. They need to swap. Uh, I didn't know Tyler was on British money. A to the person that said that in the chat. Nice. Oh, okay, well soon, Florencia, who sent in a message, how was your week? Good, thanks, Kai. Made a video with Connor. Sneezed a lot. Uh, oh, God. It was, it was bad. Because, you know, sometimes, like, sometimes being sick can be fun. Because it's like, I can't go to school or work. Uh, so maybe I can just watch TV. But then sometimes you feel so sick that it's just miserable. Number one, I have not been able to taste for three days. So it's been completely miserable, and I just want it to end <laughs> right now. Uh, but on one day, I, I started playing The Witcher 3. It's a new game that's out, The Witcher 3. Uh, and I couldn't concentrate on the game. I, I, was, I was too sick to play the game, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to watch Lord of the Rings in bed. And that was pretty glorious, but I was, I was dying. What happened to your room? It's, <laughs> it's not that messy. It's just, it's just those things, the... Uh, the corpse of my old bed that I need to throw out, which I am definitely procrastinating. Pewds is playing it, is he? I thought I could play it, but then I'm like, nah. What would I do? Just random quests? Try to think of something funny to do in it? Uh, I'm just enjoying playing it myself. It's really good. It's like Skyrim, but better. Uh, it's probably the best looking game I've ever played in my entire life. I'm glad I got the PC version, because it looks like it got uh, nerfed quite heavily to get compressed onto the X-Bone. Uh, but it's good. Fallout 4, said Haley in the chat, or Halex. Yeah, excited for Fallout. That's good. Although I am more of an Elder Scrolls fan than a Fallout fan, so I'm kind of like, give us the next one. I want the next Elder Scrolls game to be entirely Khajiit focused. Come on, guys, give, give the fairies some priority. Did you hear, have you opened the playlist gift, said Natalie? Yes, we have. We've started... Uh, rooting through them. This isn't going to turn into a Dan Mail video, because uh, <laughs> that would be... I'm, I'm sure you'd probably like it, but... No, Sniff. Gross. I think, as Phil mentioned, uh, we don't have time to respond to every single letter, because we get them in literally hundreds, but we promise, we absolutely promise, we read every single one. So, don't you worry, your socks. Prom. Uh, what happened about Alton Towers? Yeah! Alton Towers, the Smiler crashed. Oh shit. Bleep. That's that's bad, isn't it? Uh, a roller coaster at kind of like the biggest theme park in the UK. Uh, they they sent one like empty. You know when they test roller coasters sometimes they send like an empty cart, and then they sent a real person one, and then the the the, the roller coaster filled with real people crashed into the back of the empty one, and those people got injured. Oh man. 
That's scary, isn't it? Uh, human error, it sounds like. I don't think that's a mechanical thing, because roller coasters are really safe. They're really quite... It's very unlikely that roller coasters are going to get a mechanical error. I think that was just someone at Alton Towers pressed a green button when it should have been a red one. Did you know that Caitlyn Jenner is prettier than me because same, said Maitley. Caitlyn Jenner, wow. She literally looks like Jessica Lange. <laughs> right? Like, literally. How old is she? How old is Caitlyn Jenner? I'm going to look that up now. Because, like, bloody hell. Caitlyn Jenner. Okay, they have updated the Wikipedia from Bruce. I was wondering that. Good work. Uh, 65? Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. Well, I'm sure that's fantastic for everybody's self-esteem, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? I think, I think one of the, one of the best things about, um, uh, the Caitlyn Jenner story is, um, obviously, like, as Bruce, he was famous, obviously, for being an incredibly famous Olympian, but as part of the Kardashian family, uh, because they're so monumentally, globally relevant right now, like, literally the Kardashians are just so... They're probably the most relevant celebrities on the entire planet, like, in terms of visibility for trans people. Because you think, like, in a, like, mainstream, not like our Tumblr world, where we're kind of, you know, we're, we're aspiring to live in the future that we want to live in now. You need to think about how behind the times everyone in the higher world is. Like, it's, it's really great that the Kardashians is a thing for this moment, you know what I mean? Because you, you you could dislike the Kardashians for whatever reasons, but uh, you must say when it comes to this, it's just, uh, it's just a good thing, isn't it? To get everyone talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, pro pro probably the most <laughs> beautiful woman in the world, <laughs> instantly. FIFA, I'll let you know, I'm not as up to date on FIFA, but it sounds like they're as corrupt as heck. I mean, bloody hell, don't host a World Cup in Qatar, are you kidding me? Qatar is like, literally, Marine from Game of Thrones <laughs> in this world. There are some terrible things happening, uh, and God, you know, it's only a good thing. I mean, I, I'm a Formula One fan, and that's corrupt as heck. I mean, you got you got Bernie Eccleston saying all kinds of bloody problematic things, being friends with Putin, having a bloody... Grand Prix in Sochi, like, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's one of those things where, if you're a fan of a sport, the players of the sport and the fans of the sport, it's a shame that the political people that are in control of it are uh, awful sometimes. That's something that FIFA can, can relate to. But, but, hope you don't die from your cold. Thanks, Chloe. I hope I don't die from my cold too. I came here to watch you sniff, said Maya. Thanks. I hope I'm uh, pleasing you. Is that Kirito on your pillow? What pillow? I wish. I hate F1. <laughs> That's fine. Your arm looks good, does it? Is it a smooth arm? Okay. <laughs> I have a history essay due tomorrow, said Heather. Oh. Oh no. That's bad. GL. What's it about? Why is your bear wearing a lampshade? Why is my lampshade growing a bear? Is the real question. Explain the stubble. The stubble. I think that was just shadow. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not, I'm, even even at my age, I'm not too deep into puberty yet. Like seriously, I think I'll I'll finish growing. Probably age thirty-two. That's when I'm going to be uh, on track for that at the moment. So if you're a slow developer, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Yes, you'd be surprised what some, some shadow and some sharpening will do. If you don't stop swinging in your chair, you're going to fall off again. You're right. But but you have nice ears, Dan. Thank you, N2000W. Do I? Uh, do you hate Drake Bell? Drake Bell. Wow. That was a thing, wasn't it? So Drake Bell tweeted something on the lines of, I'll always call him Bruce, or whatever, which I feel isn't kind of like an informed, problematic statement. Like, I understand everything and I, I refuse to accept this person's woman. I think it was just uh, a comment from a very ignorant person that doesn't really uh, know much. I think, well, I think what Drake was trying to say was like, Bruce Jenner meant so much to me and as an Olympian that he will always be Bruce Jenner to me. But it's like, okay, you can appreciate where that's coming from, but that's like, it just screams of like, you don't get, you don't get so many things. It's like, 
that doesn't affect and it's just oh god you get the impression that no one's ever you know Drake Bell has never I'm not defending him I'm just saying that he's obviously ignorant you know what I mean it's just, I think he's a, a good example of someone that just hasn't been educated about it you know I feel like he, he's probably not, not tried to sort any education out himself and I doubt anyone's tried to talk to him I think there's a a good worrying example of how some people just don't get it which is why it's so important you know what I mean it's like if there's if there's Drake Bells out there just going oh I would always see him as a Bruce it's like okay you we need to uh, have some conversations which is why it's important mm, I'm sick too June 11th is my birthday high five <laughs> are you feeling any better he's bankrupt he wants the attention I don't think it was a cry for attention I just think that he's he's I think it was just ignorant. I don't think it was malicious. I just think it was dumb. Which is worse. Maybe. Who knows? No, it's not. <laughs> Shout out to Lavender, who has the same birthday as you. Shout out to all the birthday people. In my last chat, someone was like, did Dan not know that T.O.P. stands for 21 Pilots? I think that someone in the chat last week was actually talking about the K-pop rapper <laughs> Top from Big Bang. Too many anecdotes shared, people. Mm -mm. Tell people to stop hating on my OTP fiend. What? <laughs> fiend? Is that, is that Phil and Dean from the radio show? Did you like that? Did you like, uh... Yeah, the, uh, the, the Dan and Phil and Jack and Dean Radio 1 Big Weekend Internet Takeover special. So we said that we were quite happy to let, uh, Jack... Because all the, the, you know, the kind of huge Taylor Swift Muse five sauces were too busy to do interviews. So we were like, you know what? Jack and Dean deserve to do some stuff, we shouldn't be hogs, so we like, they, they can do the interviews. Uh, so we we actually, we let our, our our producers, which are the people that kind of help make our show, the people that you see walking around in the studio with us when we're on, on camera, uh, we let them kind of come up with the ideas for the show, and I think they did a really good job. I thought it was really funny. Uh, it was their idea to do the, the, the Dean and Phil, and uh, there's a guy called Dan, another Dan at Radio 1 who edits a lot of the videos and he edited things like our Fallout Boy montage at Reading Festival last year and loads of stuff and he edited that whole show he did the, the Dean and Phil thing, he did the other thing, it was really good so I'm quite, I'm quite proud of my, <laughs> my Radio 1 friends for doing that Where is Phil? I don't know, probably hiding from me wearing a gas mask that was like a weird Crash Bandicoot remix, don't know what that was. Ryan said, how are you feeling? Sniff-tacular. Uh, 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 watch Big Bang, Dan. I have. New Muse song, The Handler. Do you hear it? No, I haven't. Is it is it official or did it like leak or something? Muse, The Handler. What? This is a thing. Oh, what? That's not on their YouTube channel. Is this a leak? <laughs> What happened? Oh no, they premiered it on Radio 1. Okay, are, they, are they releasing the whole bloody album? I want some surprises, guys. Seriously. Uh, I saw that there's a 10 minute track, which is the uh, sequel to Citizen Erased. Going into it with open eyes, people. And by that I mean ears. And by that I mean mind. Your head looks huge from that angle. Thank you, Juliet, in the chat. What are you eating? Nothing really, because I can't taste. <sighs> like, usually, when I get to like halfway through the live show, I'm like, I've got, got a bloody stir fry to make when this is finished. Food, yeah, but now I'm like, just, n literally nothing to live for. I can't taste. Uh, so that's in a tab. Muse the handler, okay. Was it good? Was it good? Your hair is messy, it is. That's because I haven't gone outside in two days. Actually, no, that's a lie. I went outside today to get lunch. And that was bad. <laughs> and what made it even worse was I get back and I can't taste the lunch. Wow. Yeah, uh, I'm getting a dog, said somebody. Are you? Are you getting a dog? Are you getting a Shiba Inu? What happened to Anahita? Hashtag find Anahita. Is she okay? <laughs> it is Oriella. Then Ali, then Jocelyn, then Evie, and then Shay Allen. Hi Kai in Glasgow, get well soon. Thanks Polina. I graduated high school today, said Holly. Is that a thing that's happening? Did you see Five Sauce? 
I did see five sauce. We made awkward, uh, awkward eye contact because I've never, I've never had a conversation with the guys from Five Sauce, but uh, we've, we've walked past each other a bunch of times at the Teen Awards and at the Brit Awards. And I think like they obviously know who YouTubers are and it's kind of like... <laughs> explain the sushi selfie, there's nothing to explain there. That's just an unexplainable, terrible accidental selfie. What happened to your bed? It's not that messy, people. Look. It's just... Look. God. Standards. Calm down. You're so bed demanding. Anahita had to be stopped. She was going to destroy the Phantom. <laughs> Did one of you assassinate Anahita? Can we need to stop? How hyped are you for Heart of Thorns? The Guild Wars 2 expansion? Heart of Thorns? You're probably gonna lose me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go missing for five months. I can't even contemplate it. Having little bits of update to the story that means so much to me and actually getting like a huge chunk of it, it's gonna be... I can't even imagine, because it's been three years since the game came out and there's been a lot of stuff, but I mean, oh god, something that substantial, I don't know how to feel. It's gonna be big. Why haven't you made a new video lately? I have. Uh, I was sick this weekend, but Connor Fronter, um I have made a video with him that you'll be seeing soon. Boop, 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 boop. Give the shout out to updated fan. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, Amy C, because I obviously wouldn't have forgotten otherwise. Yes, I think, well, do you guys remember a, a, was it last week? Was it the week before? I was saying that for something mysterious that we wanted to put in the book, uh, me and Phil wanted to compile a list of all the times we've made up stupid random songs in our videos. And we were like, who? Could do that, maybe. And I got sent to a document that was made by at updated fan on Twitter in collaboration with the uh, <laughs> the amazing and indomitable Dan is not on fire VU1. Uh, so shout out to those two people who really provide uh, what it seems like great resources for mine and Phil's audience community. So double shout out to them. Um, but yeah, so they they did that, and that's good. Uh, that I because I was I like I did a lot of it myself, but I was like, have I missed something? I really want to be sure, and I did miss a couple things. So um, yeah, again, you'll 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 see why you wanted to do that in the book. But uh, yeah, thank you to those two people for helping me get the ones I miss. How do you like meeting Multiplier? Said somebody in the chat. What was your name? I missed you. Oh dear, you're gone forever. Uh, I'm, oh, there you are, Jamie Lim. I loved Mark Plyer. I met him in New York, and he was really, really nice and really, really cool. He was great. My dog loves you, said Amelia. <laughs> really? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Game of Thrones, bloody hell. Did you watch the last episode? That was amazing. That was awesome. That, ah, oh, there was one shot where Jon Snow was, like, running to get into the hut, there was like a really long tracking shot, like the one that they did last time, and it was so good. It was so good. Oh man, you like you can't help but feel like they saved some of their budget for like five episodes, then spent it all on that last show. The last episode of Game of Thrones was one of those episodes that remind that gave you that feeling of Game of Thrones is literally better than most movies. We are. <laughs> Well, that was a fun ten minutes of everybody's life, wasn't it? Okay, let's... <laughs> Rude. Rude. You know, it's not us breaking you now. It's like, come on, website, work, right? I mean, there's, like, let's be real. There were 10,000 people watching. Your website should be able to handle 10,000 people. <laughs> when did when did I tweet that I got rudely ejected? Uh, Fourteen minutes ago. Jesus Christ! Sorry to you for making you wait. So I guess <laughs> it happened to work. Uh, I bet it was Anahita. That's the prevailing theory. That's a conspiracy. Um, you should change your icon here. To be honest, should I? 
And then I'd have to like remember what the weird Facebook password is. There's literally no chance that was happening. So enough talking about Game of Thrones, because I feel like that was probably some kind of sabotage from a, a, a competitor to HBO. Say hi, Mella. Hi. <laughs> uh, right. Kim K is pregnant again. Important news. Yes. In before. LOL South. Uh, yeah. Good for her. That was quick, wasn't it? Do you reckon it was planned? Do you reckon it was planned? Do you reckon they were like, we want a family. We want North to have a sibling. We want to have a family. Because it's quite a uh, Jenner to kind of mass copulate, isn't it? So, uh, who knows? Or do you reckon it was kind of like a whoops, didn't have that on the agenda, but guess that Kim K is always pregnant, <laughs> somebody. She literally has one child. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, whatever. Uh, I saw you on the billboard, what, on the, uh, the YouTube video, yeah. YouTube made a video uh, of their 10 year anniversary and I was featured in the V for Vlogger bit along with Jenna Marbles and Charlie is so cool like and a couple other people who I can't remember, Bad Dan. But yeah, uh, if you want to search YouTube 10th anniversary into YouTube, they made a cool video just to say like, happy us for our 10th birthday. And they put me and Phil in it, and it's quite funny, of all the pictures of Phil and I, they could have used, they used the moment where we were pretending to be each other in the last Phyllis Not On Fire video. Uh, sure, okay. <laughs> Why not? That's fine. So, thanks for putting us in that, YouTube. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I guess we've only got like seven minutes left in our, uh, in our scheduled live show time. What do you want to talk about? I feel like we've, we've covered all the, the interesting happenings of the week. Last week was bad. Was last week the time I had a big waffle? That was bad, and I told you why it was bad. It's because I don't like talking about things that I think are interesting or deserving of good conversations inarticulately. And inarticulate it was. So I'm, I'm sure you all enjoyed the conversations, but I don't think they were good. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Sing a happy birthday to Sese. That's that's not going to happen while I sound like this. That just sound like a singing goose. Boop, 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 boop. Play Akinator. What, on the gaming channel? Maybe. Maybe not. That would be an easy thing to do. I could, I could do that while I'm sick. Why not? Uh, put that in the bag. Uh, <laughs> why are you using Safari? Good question. I use Safari for you now because you need to be logged in to a different... Uh, Facebook from my normal Facebook, so I have Safari as my like you now browser where I'm logged into the right thing. <laughs> don't worry, I don't use it for my regular browsing. To but to clear your nose, inhale coffee. Said somebody in the chat. Yes, I <laughs> I'm sure that's a great idea. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll snort some coffee after this very live show, and miraculously, I will be fixed. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Play Minecraft with Phil again. Hmm. I think you've given me a call through the monitor. Entirely possible. Who knows how energy works? I mean, obviously, it's it's not. Speaking of strange technology, I've had like a massive time travel binge fest recently because I watched. I'm, I'm watching Stein's Gate, which is about time travel, and then I watched an X Files episode about time travel. And then I watched something else that was about time travel. I'm a bit time travelled out, but bloody hell, Steins Gate is excellent, isn't it? <laughs> I can imagine a lot of the, the anime nerds that watch it really relate to the characters. Do, 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 boo, boo. I have a cold and I'm in Florida. Mm, moist and sick. Recommended anime for a beginner? This is a good question. If you want to get into anime, but don't want to get thrown too deeply into oh, all of these Japan things are weird, I don't understand what people are talking about. Mm. If you're someone that watched cartoons, like Avatar, or Dragon Ball Z, then Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is a really great uh, anime, and I reckon that'd be a good one. So if you're someone that, like, has enjoyed cartoons, then that's good. If you're somebody that, like, you're kind of emo, you're not sure if you'd like it, whatever, if you like Sherlock, and you're like, would I like anime? Death Note, watch Death Note, because that's not too long, and that's good. I think you, that'd get you into it, and that'd be pretty good. 
uh, yeah, I don't know, like, what else, <laughs> what else would I recommend? Who knows? Totoro, obviously. Totoro is a movie. I presume you've all watched the Miyazaki movies. Or Ran is cute. Or on High School Host Club is very good, but it's a parody of anime shows, so I reckon that'd be a bit advanced to try and understand what they're kind of making fun of in it. Uh, Soul Eater is another good one if you watch cartoons. Uh, Soul Eater is a good one. Your Lie in April. Your Lie in April is like my favourite rom-com emotional high school kids in real life one. Sword Art Online is good. I think there's only a couple problematic tentacle scenes in that one, and the rest of it's just it's just good. <laughs> Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is good. Your anime site is expensive. Why? Is it expensive? You, you can watch it free with ads, can't you, Crunchyroll? Then there is Kiss Anime, but I swear to God, is Kiss Anime illegal? I feel like it's illegal. I've, <laughs> I feel like I have no idea how that website is on the internet, because I, I, I feel like... I feel like it's it's not supposed to be there. Your nose looks hot. Good. I'm getting my uh, Rudolph look on. Ba 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 ba. Ba da ba ba. Have you downloaded Chinese new album? I've never had a K-pop album. The K-pop do album good. I feel like I feel like K-pop maybe isn't the genre for the uh, long form music art form. <laughs> I feel like singles is kind of really what it's all about. Am I wrong? Are there some truly artistically transcendent K-pop albums out there? Has has G Dragon released an album to rival to Pimp a Butterfly? Who knows? Bup, 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 bup. Dan, you look terrible. No offense. Non taken, of course, Sarah. Thank you. Uh, what have you been listening to? I've still been listening to ASAP Rocky's album. That's just nice to listen to. I'm enjoying that quite a lot. And Jamie XX the DJ slash producer from the band The XX. He makes some pretty great music by himself and he's just released his first solo album and it's pretty amazing and it's great. So um, I'm enjoying Jamie XX's album. What's it called? Colors? I feel like. In color. F -f -f fake fan. Who's, okay, so now it's Aurelia, Jocelyn, Sally, Pikachu, Molly, and Che Allen. Let's see how it is. What yeah, you're back. I'm back! <laughs> For a bit. <sighs> I can't see you. Refresh. I just observed peanuts for science. That sounds riveting. What was your study? To find out if peanuts secretly move when we're not looking at them. Like, uh... Toy Story. Thoughts on Blurry Face? I haven't listened, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll put it on my to-do list. Do you care a lot? I'll, okay, here we go. Okay, right. Tell you what, as you care, I'll save it onto my phone on Spotify. And then not give you an opinion next week. That sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. Uh, Dan, you said my name wrong. It's pronounced K. What did I say? I'm, I'm the rudest person ever. Have you been to Hyper Japan in London? Probably not. I feel like I'm slightly out japan I don't know, like, Japan. Japan's obviously amazing. And as a, uh, colossal weeb, obviously, I love everything about Ta'anamu, uh, and stuff. But, oh, we watched so much anime before going to Japan, and then we went to Japan, and we're still watching anime, and, like, Japan is obviously amazing, and I appreciated it, and it's also weird, and I'm just a bit like... <laughs> I, I'm feeling out Japan, but I'm still enjoying Steins Gate quite a lot, because it's very, uh, it's very, very modern. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. It's the Made Up On The Spot You Now songs. Why is it being rude today, iDeck? So many people, all at once. I'm sure it's punctual. What is your opinion on the last waste with Lewis punching the thing? Uh, almost punching everyone. I don't think Lewis almost punched everyone. Okay. Formula One. It was at the Monaco Grand Prix. Um, Lewis Hamilton was going to win the race when his team told him to come in for a pit stop that he didn't need to make. So he went in for a pit stop, just going with what the team said, and then two people overtake him and he came third. What the heck? He really did deserve to win it. 
And it was really weird. It was just weird because these two other people came in front of him and it was weird. And it was just kind of like a massive fluff up from the team. And Lewis Hamilton uh, drove into the signpost because I think he was in a bit of a mood. But I think that's good. That's good. God, I mean, people, everyone in the, I, I subscribe to the Formula One subreddit. Just because as, as a fan of the sport, I think, like many Lee Reddits, uh, you know, Reddit, Reddit is a good website for conversation and for communities. Uh, <laughs> just as long as you don't go too far down in the threads and open those downvoted comments and really regret doing it, like looking at Facebook comments. Uh, and people are just like, fucking the God, they hate Lewis Hamilton. But I think that, you know, it wouldn't, it, you know, sport wouldn't be fun if people were perfectly airbrushed and PR savvy and polite all the time. You need some people to be mad when something goes horribly wrong, otherwise what's interesting? That's just my opinion. I don't feel like it was a big deal. I feel like if someone screws up you winning a race, then you have a right to be a bit grumpy. <laughs> it's not literally heat Hitler. Hitler! What you get when you breed a heat more with Adolf Hitler. That's uh, the new Pokemon patch, and I am talking shit. Dan, where's your free tissue box? It's here. It's been seeing a lot of use in the last couple of days. But ba 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 boo! Did you try the game with the Mexican ghost? Was that Charlie Charlie? No, I, I didn't. <laughs> Should I have? Would it have been amazing? Uh 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 GCSEs no. Oh dear. Uh GL to everybody having exams in a big way. Have you ever watched Mad Men? No, but friends say I should. Opinions on Reapers. I don't like their lyric videos. I think they're a bit cringe. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. I wish I didn't watch the lyric video again, like Psycho, and just listened to it. Phil loves Reapers. I think that you throw in a bit of guitar and that doesn't necessarily mean that the problems that seem to exist in these songs so far aren't there. Uh, we'll see! Waiting for the album! Mind open, people! Da, da, da. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh wow, it's three past. Okay, um, this has been fun. Thank you to everybody who stayed with me through the great outage of June the 2nd. Um, I'm probably gonna go make some dinner and then cry into my plate because I can't taste it. I'm gonna appreciate life so much when I can taste again, seriously. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna order Domino's. I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna order Domino's and then I'm gonna really regret it two hours later, but God, I'll enjoy it so much while I'm out there. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Happy vaccine, Rosie. Thanks for sticking along. Do you still have your iconic t-shirt? Yes, Hannah. It's in my, my wardrobe. Hi from Sydney and Becca. Hello, Sydney and Becca. New panic song. Is it Hallelujah? Got it tabbed. It was a sign, Tat. I should be revising. You should be revising. The ghost is coming to kill us, undoubtedly. What is it with you and you now? You knows what. Ha ha! Happy birthday, Ricky! <laughs> News album is leaked, is it? Stay away from leaks. I'm too sick to high five. Same. Let's do an awkward flub. You missed me. Thank you. New panic song. Gonna watch it. Say you hate the Yolo dogs. I guess I just said that. Did I? No, I need to say I before. Edit that together. Talk about anime. Did. Have I watched Mad Men? No. Please say hi to me. Hi, staring fandoms. You keep breaking it, I know. It's a curse. Do you love me, Mary? I mean, I don't know. You could be like a cannibal mass murderer or something. So it's a bit of a strong thing to commit to. I don't know. How's your day been? Sniftacular. And yeah. Okay. Clean your room. Thanks. And on that... Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Jesus is watching, apparently. Thank you for saying that in the chat. That makes me feel good. Uh, so, yeah. Um, new Dan is not on fire video with Seafront and another one with me in it uh, this week. Look forward to that. Should be fun. Thanks to him for letting me put it up this you know, or, you know, rearranging his schedule <laughs> for me. Appreciate that. Uh, and, yeah. Bye. I'll sound less like a goose next week. So sorry if you're into that, but uh, it's probably gonna... It's probably gonna go. If I, if I don't sound like a goose, we'll think about making a gaming video. Uh, perhaps before... I mean, we'll see, we'll see when this video will go on down the sort of fire. Perhaps we'll make a gaming video before 
if I don't feel like crap. Uh, and yeah, okay, bye guys. Thank you, as usual, for choosing to spend an hour and six minutes of your Tuesday evening with me. Hope life is nice. Be calm. Google meditation. It's quite relaxing. Might help you relax and stuff. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go cook something and not taste it. <laughs> Ciao.